Hello, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to do the resolution of the address of a HTTP web server hosted by the SP32 using MDNS, a target board I'm going to be using a Firebeetle board from DFROB. So MDNS stands for Multicast DNS and it allows us to do the uh, resolution of a host name um, into an IP address, which is what we actually need to reach uh, a given server without the need for a dedicated infrastructure, such as, for example, um, DNS server, a regular one. Um, so this technology works over multicast UDP, does the name um, multicast DNS. And as you'll see, it allows us to uh, do very cool stuff, such as, for example, setting up uh, this server on the SP32, and we don't need to know its IP address to reach it. Uh, note that in previous tutorials where we covered uh, the use of the HTTP uh, web server on the SP32, one thing that we always do is printing its IP address to the console, uh, to the serial monitor, and then we use it uh, in the browser to reach the server. Nonetheless, in a more realistic scenario, uh, obviously this most likely won't be an option. We won't be able to print an IP address to some kind of uh, console or, or monitor. Um, so it's much easier if we define a given uh, host name that the user then can type in the, um, in the web browser and then the re resolution is done, uh, is done and we get the IP address. An important thing to mention here is that um, depending on your machine, you might need to install additional software uh, because obviously the computer that is trying to reach the server uh, also needs to support MDNS. Uh, so, for example, I tested this uh, in a Windows 10 machine and it works right out of the box because basically it's capable of doing the resolution uh, using MDNS. But for example, in older operating systems, uh, you might need to install additional software for example, in a Windows 8 machine where I tested this, I needed to install Bonjour, which is a software for Windows. Uh, if you are on Linux, you might need to install Avai, uh, which is other software that allows you to do this resolution. So again, depending on your machine, you may need to, to have this in consideration. In my case, I'm using uh, this machine that already allows to do this resolution. So here I'm not going to cover the installation of um, this, this additional software. So looking into the code, the first thing we are going to need to do is importing this uh, ASPMDNS.h uh, library. Note that this library is included uh, already in the Arduino course, so you don't need to do any additional installation to be able to use it. And by importing it, we, we are going to have access to an external variable called the MDNS. We are going to see it in the code below. That basically allows us to set up uh, the MDNS responder that will allow to do the resolution. Um, besides that, we are going to need this Wi-Fi.edge library, pretty much the standard one we use when we want to connect the SP32 to a Wi-Fi network. And then, I did not say in the beginning of the video, but basically uh, we are going to use the SP Async Web Server library that we have already covered in previous videos to set up the HTTP uh, web server in the SP32. This one needs to be installed uh, I'm going to leave the link um, in the description for some other videos and for uh, a blog post where we cover the basics of the SP Async Web Server. So here I'm assuming you already have it up and running, uh, but basically uh, the, the example that we are going to use here in terms of setting up the HTTP Web Server will be the, the simplest one, just setting up a route to return some content because we want to focus on the MDNS part. So moving on below, as usual, when we are connecting the SP32 to Wi-Fi network, we need the credentials of the network, namely the, the, um, the identifier of the network, so the network name and the password. Naturally, when you are testing this code, you will need to change um, these values here by the actual credentials of your network. Then we are going to need to uh, define an object of this class, a sync web server, which is used to set up the HTTP server on the SP32. Uh, the constructor of this class, as you can see, receives an integer, which basically corresponds to the port where the SP32 will be listening to incoming requests. Here we are using port 80, which is the default HTTP port, uh, meaning that when we are typing the address on the address bar in the browser, by default it uses port 80. So you don't need to explicitly type there that you want to reach um, the server in a given port. If we used here another number, obviously, we would need to specify to the browser that we were 
using another port to 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 serve content over our in our http web server but 80 is the default one so it's the better option so moving on to the arduino setup let's move quickly here because this is the, these are the basics of what we always do so opening a serial connection to output some content um then we are going here to to establish a connection to the Wi-Fi network, obviously, so we can reach the server and set it up. And then now we are going to look into the actual part that differs, uh, basically the setting up um, of the MDNS responder. It's really trivial. Uh, basically, you just need to call this begin method on the MDNS external variable that I've already referred to at the beginning of this video. Uh, we call this begin method and as input uh, of this method we pass a string with the host name that we want to um, that we want to to then translate in, in into an IP address. So I'm using here the value sp32 which means that later when I'm typing the URL for this um, for this server on the web browser basically this is the host name that i'm going to to have to type and then uh, it will be resolved to the ip address to the correct ip address of the server and then obviously the machine will be able to reach uh, the server and naturally it, it needs to use its ip address uh, under the hood so this method returns a boolean uh, value indicating if the procedure was successful or not we are just here doing a a very simple error checking, so basically printing here a message to the user later for us to be able to see in the serial monitor indicating if there was any problem starting MDNS and we are returning in case it fails because there's no point in trying to move on past this point. So assuming everything uh, went fine, we are printing here the, the local IP address of the SP32 that was assigned to it on the um, network to which it connected we won't be needing it i'm just printing it here for illustration purposes and for us to make sure that it was able to get a, a, an ip address but we won't going to we are not going to need it uh, in order to reach the server that's the whole point of the of this tutorial then uh, this is a part that we have already covered in in other tutorials so basically i'm setting up here a route uh, in our http web server uh, it's called as you can see here uh, hello, so this is the, the route endpoint. It is responding to HTTP GET requests. Uh, and basically, when the request is uh, is sent, this is a Lambda function here uh, that basically will be executed uh, when the request is sent to this route. And basically, it is just returning a 200, which is a OK message. Uh, it is saying that the context, uh, the the content type of the response is plain text, and that the value is an hello world. So this is just the the basics for us to to set up the server and have something to reach. To finalize the setup function, we need to call the begin method on our server object. This will ensure that it will start listening to HTTP requests, and that's it. The server past this point should be up and running. Since this is an asynchronous web server, like we have already covered, we don't need to be pulling any kind of object or do any uh, periodic procedure on the Arduino main loop, uh, which is one of the big advantages of using an asynchronous solution. Uh, so our main loop for this example can be left empty because we don't have anything else to do here. And that's it, the code is very simple. As you can see, uh, the part of setting up MDNS is really, really trivial. Uh, I've already uploaded this code to my SP32 with the correct credentials of my Wi-Fi network. As you can see here, it's already up and running. It printed the message indicating it was connecting to Wi-Fi, then it was able to get uh, a local IP address, meaning the server should be available. And then I'm going to open here my browser and basically, this is how we reach the server, okay? So basically, uh, we need to put here the host name that we have used, the SP32, then uh, dot and local, okay? So uh, basically, we need to append here this to the, uh, to the host name. And to finalize, past this point, we just need to put here the route of our server. In our case, it was slash hello. It could be something else. We can have multiple routes. And uh, as long as your machine is able to do the resolution uh, and to, to work with MDNS, you should be able to reach the server. As you can see, I've already done it here. I'm just going to refresh. Okay, just it might take a, a bit. But as you can see here, 
uh, again, hello world, so this was correctly, uh, those name was correctly translated in an IP address, everything is working as expected, uh, and this will offer um, an easier way for users to use uh, your applications if you are going to, to do um, developments for a more realistic scenario. From this point onward, you can now set up more easily a HTTP web server and being able to reach it without needing to know its IP address. Uh, that's it. Thank you very much for uh, watching. Hope you have enjoyed this tutorial.